Hey y'all, Coach Simmons here. And then we're gonna discuss something. What can be learned? You know what I mean? We do know that, Co that President Hudson officially resigns at the end of the month. He's been on paid leave since uh, March 2nd. Man will make $12,000 while he's on paid leave. $300,000 a year. That's what we know. You also understand he got a um, vote of no confidence from the faculty senate in January. They still have not disclosed the IHL. No matter what you hear from anybody else on this platform, the IHL has not disclosed why Hudson was placed on administrative leave. But maybe ask yourself, well, why in the hell is Will Bynum on there? Well, Will Bynum, the former president of Jackson State, his lawsuit is still going on. So even though he was not the president, Thomas Hudson was, uh, when he was let go back in March of 2020, um, Bynum alleged that a provision in his contract assured he could stay at Jackson State as a full-time professor with tenure. Um, the college of education with a salary of 110% of the highest paid faculty member. But Jackson State and the IHL failed or refused to permit that to happen. A month after he filed a lawsuit, Jackson State terminated him as a full-time professor. So, maybe the folks in Mississippi understand why he was let go. Like I said, I'm not Mississippi. I'm in Texas. And if y'all know why, please explain why in the comments. But try to keep it professional. Um, this man is still suing. He states... That, you know, the contract says will still be on as a full-time professor. Now, the question I have, and what we should be learning from this is, the IHL board should not be able to pick the presidents of these schools. Now, Bynum came over from Valley. He had a little bit of experience, but it still was not somebody picked by the campus. The alumni and the students should have a little say in that. Um, it shouldn't always be about money, who can donate the most money to get their president in. It shouldn't be, like I heard on one of these channels, uh, about how um, certain, certain schools would just have their school funding and take it away if IHL didn't give them their pre president. Well, that shouldn't be the case, man. That shouldn't have to be the case. You shouldn't have an entity out there being the one to select who's going to lead you. <laughs> Once again, you shouldn't have a separate entity out there being the ones who select who is going to lead you. Only way I see this happening, and maybe this is a pipe dream. Whenever I bring this up, everybody in Mississippi comes and tells me, you don't know nothing about the politics in this state. This is a very backwards racist state. This state is going to, it's still got slaves here, that kind of stuff. I'm in Texas, man. We ain't that far from y'all. But honestly, you got to vote. Even if you're going to lose, just the threat of the vote should be enough to affect change in your area. Because if you don't want the people they, they give you, stop letting the people in power who give you those folks. <laughs> 